developers. Ooh, developers. <clears throat> I've been talking all day. My voice is a little hoarse. Excuse me. Hello. How are you in YouTubesville? I'm RTC. I can now formally say, sorry, that kombucha had some bite. I can now formally say I am the founder of the online ready to go realtoughcandy.io. Today's the day. It launched at midnight. I stayed up to see the launch and I've had a wink or two of sleep, but I just have been so excited and so hyped. I couldn't hardly get, get any shut eye. Um, so I wanted to talk with you today about what the heck this thing is, because we've gotten a lot of questions. We've had dozens of people sign up um, just in the last, what, 16 hours or so. So many people interested in this thing, but also wondering, okay, does the, does the world really need another platform? For coding. So we're going to talk about it, why I started this thing, um, some of the courses, and what this platform's all about. First of all, I have to give a shout out to some people, my Patreon subscriber or supporters, my patrons, they are the people, YouTube channel members, and people like Chiquito who support the channel in other ways, uh, my Discord peeps, thank you so much for the encouragement. Uh, people like Donovan, Dr. Candace, people who have been here for a long time saying, yes, do this. I believe in you. Those are the people who I do it for. I do it for the people who are interested in taking it further and taking it one step more so people can get to where they need to be. Let me check in with this live stream just to make sure you all can hear me because that would suck. Let's see here. So today I'm gonna just go through a course rundown with what we're offering. And then um, I'm gonna try to untangle what YouTube is, is doing to me because it's really trying to jam me. One moment, please. Ah, hello, there we go. We are here. Donovan, what's up? Yes. See, this is what I'm talking about with these supporters, these people who have just, uh, they motivate me. Donovan, Candace is here. Donovan, both Donovan and Candace. We have Lloyd in the chat and Paradoodly do. How's it going? Thank you for joining me. So let me talk about what this thing is, okay? And then we'll get into the course descriptions and all this and, and what we're really trying to do. So... First misconception out of the way, uh, the domain, it's, it's realtoughcandy.io, but this is not a platform for learning how to code because we have, we have a lot of really good ones. Um, it didn't make sense for me to start something where other people are already doing a really great job. Um, I, I just, uh, there's no sense in doing another introdu introduction to JavaScript course. So that's not what we teach there. We don't teach you how to code. We show you software development processes so that you can solve problems on your own. And after three years of doing mentorships, of doing one-on-one -on -one consultations, of doing um, tutoring, of doing just informal DMs, you know, off the clock, someone DM me or someone email me with the problem they're having, I started noticing a very serious pattern. And this is uh, something that a lot of self-developers face. You get stuck. And so you think, well, I guess I better learn another skill. Guilty. Or I'm bored. Maybe I'll go learn another skill. And so you're stacking these skills upon skills upon skills. And you're still having problems building projects and you're still having problems doing things on your own. And you're still having problems getting called in for interviews. You're still having problems uh, getting paid or starting a freelance career. You're still getting, you're still having problems uh, getting job offers. Why is that? You have all these skills, right? Well, it's because you were learning implementations. And what I mean by that is you go to the typical coding courses and Again, there are so many good ones. We are so lucky in this career field to have so many great instructors. Um, but this is, this is uh, one of the issues I've seen over th the three years of doing this is that you take a course and then you build that project and it looks awesome, right? Like it, it's got that CRUD functionality. 
uh, authentication, all this good stuff. It looks good, like top to bottom. This is something you can be proud of. And you do that following along with the course, but then you try to do it on your own and you suddenly don't know where to start. Why is that? It's a really weird phenomenon, right? You just built this really awesome thing, but now it's time to do it again and replicate it. And it's really tough or you don't know where to start. Why is that? It's because you learned an implementation and pivoting to do something on your own is not something that's taught in a coding course. They're there to teach you the skill. And they're, I mean, these are million dollar skills, right? But their mission as instructors, as code instructors is to teach you the skill, not the different contexts in which you'll use it. So we teach that process and that's where realtoughcanny.io comes in. So what do I mean by that? Well, we have five courses that teach you processes. Number one, uh, the one I'm thinking of right off the bat is portfolio surgery. This is an intense course. Um, you're gonna be working weeks on this course. Um, there's, I teach you, I show you five methods for making pro portfolio projects your own. And in the course, you come along with me and you watch my process. And it's very systematic. And as I'm doing these things, as I'm incorporating this, these methods, I challenge you to go into your own portfolio and grab a project that you think would benefit from portfolio surgery, from project surgery. And you take that project and you, you, you take the process and you apply it. And that way you can do it over and over and over and over. You don't have to be limited to a coding course in order to code or do things. And so that's the exact reason why I started realtoughcandy.io again, because I noticed so many developers were having that problem um, among others. It's not just limited to your portfolio. Um, for any, we get paid to problem solve, point blank period. That is why we get paid. We don't get paid because we know GraphQL. We get paid because we solve problems with GraphQL big difference, right? Uh, and so that process is beyond the scope of, of coding courses. And that's where this platform comes in. Level up, land a job, get a raise. That's our mantra. That's what we do. And that's what we focus on. Um, so portfolio surgery, we take those five, I, I show you those five uh, different ways, those five different methods, you can transform your portfolio. Now, we have at least one moderator in the chat, Paradoodly Do, Sarah might be here too. Um, but Paradoodly, I, I know you're here for sure. Can you share that portfolio surgery course with people? And each course on realtoughcandy.io has uh, big descriptions, uh, videos that you can watch, preview videos to, to see what you're gonna be learning and doing in the courses. The other courses we have are hard, how to get a job in web development as the name suggests. I show you how to get a job in web development for the 99.5% of us who will not be working at Google or the like interview processes and getting jobs or the, the, the job seeking process is a little different and in most cases a lot different. Um, so that course, how to get a job in web development is based on practical actionable steps. We work on getting your portfolio up to speed, uh, your GitHub, your resume and your cover letter. And then what also we do on the platform, now this is, this is why the platform is, is attractive in, an, in another way, because the courses bleed into one another. What I mean by that is we also have a course called Professional Communication for Junior Developers, where we focus on workplace scenarios and also inter, an interview, there is an interview scenario. And we also have different prompts and stuff, um, but that ties into how to get a job in web development um, very nicely. But in that course, you're doing a ton of stuff. And I have to say, if this is a video-based platform, I don't like students who are dissatisfied. Um, and if you treat this platform like Netflix, you're going to be dissatisfied. You may even say, Real Tough Candy, you offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. Let's see it. I want you to be satisfied and to do that, 
you have to do the prompts, you have to do the challenges, you have to do the projects, and you have to do the stuff besides just watch the video. This is not a Netflix and chill platform. No, this is not, this is not, you cannot just watch the videos. You have to get out of your comfort zone. And we challenge you on this platform to get out of that comfort zone so you can really make some progress. This isn't just a party filler type platform uh, where I'm trying to make a quick buck. I worked very hard on this. Uh, again, even the last three years, acquiring this data and acquiring these stories from you all so I could make something that really helped people. And in order to do that, you, in order to succeed with this platform, you have to do the prompts um, because it is so interactive and because you're learning the process and you have to apply it to your own life. So. That disclaimer out of the way. We also have uh, designs and deadlines, practical UX UI for web developers. I'm really excited about this course. This course starts at the, the zero point, assuming you have zero knowledge about design. So what we do is we take this scenario, and again, all most of these courses are scenario-based. Uh, when they're not scenario-based, I'm having you do a lot of stuff. So you can make that progression to the next step. So this is a scenario-based course where my boss wants me to build this seemingly ridiculous landing page. Um, and the fun fact about this career field is that you're gonna get a lot of seemingly ridiculous requests throughout your career where it's like, someone calls for a feature, your boss asks for this, someone in marketing asks for that. You're just, you're trying not to roll your eyes, but you probably are and just can't contain yourself. You're gonna get some ridiculous requests that you have to accommodate. And so there's that component. Um, and she calls me, actually she emails me and she wants me to build this landing page where I have no information about it. I've never heard of this niche, like this specialty, what this, what this whole application is all about. Um, and so we take, again, using a process you, you learn how to take an idea, turn it into a wireframe, turn it into a mock-up, and then turn it into a, a prototype, a high fidelity prototype where you uh, use HTML and CSS. That's just for this project. In the course, um, I also challenge, you're also challenged to do your own. You will also be doing your own project in this course. And the cool part about that is you will have a project 100% from scratch that you can put in your portfolio. Again, real world stuff developers, I'm not messing around. We came out just 100% ready to blast developers into the next level and just, just level them up. And so um, we start going back to the UX UI course. We also learn about user personas, you build one, we build one in the course. Uh, we use Adobe XD, it's a free program uh, that, you can, that you can download for, it's for Mac and Windows. Um, that's pretty much the only prerequisite for that course. You have to download XD and know a little bit of HTML and CSS because the project we build in it is HTML and CSS. And all the projects we build on the platform are, they're as newbie friendly as possible without being patronizing. You know what I mean? Like, I. They're fun projects without being too crazy. There is a project we do that has JavaScript in it, um, but it's mostly for you to watch the process, my problem solving process, so you can apply it to your own projects. So how to get a job in web development, uh, designs and deadlines, practical UX UI for web developers. I'm parched, hold on a sec. Portfolio surgery, make your portfolio pop. Our next course is professional communication for junior developers. Come on, RTC, communication. <laughs> I, I get that one a lot, but no, seriously, communication in this field uh, is just as important as coding skills. And if you don't know how to communicate, you're not gonna get very far in the operational industry, the operational software development industry. Now, when you're just working by yourself, communication isn't important. Let's be honest, when you're doing these projects on your own 100% in a bubble, who cares? You're not talking to anybody, right? Where's the communication? The only communication you're doing is communicating with your terminal. But when you're on the job and when you're freelancing, nine to five, startup, fang type, doesn't matter. Any context, again, context, the process, 
applying the process to the context where it applies to you in your life. We're coming to you, right? I don't want you, this is, this is where a lot of people get it wrong when they enter business. I don't mean just in software development. They, they launch something or they offer something and they want people to go this way when the business, the business needs to go towards the people. So we come to you with this. You can take the knowledge and apply it to whatever situation. We're meeting you wherever you are in your journey. But anyways, so this professional communication for junior developers course is based on, again, a scenario-based course. And I partnered with one of my good friends who's been in management for a very long time, and she's very talented, um, and helped me design this course and helped me produce this course. And it is based on four scenarios that are very unpleasant. In the first scenario, the new developer drops the database at the company. Now, you don't have to be in the industry to know when you hear the term drop the database, that's not a good thing. It actually happened at GitLab and uh, it, was, it was pretty bad. There was a whole, there was a whole uh, miniature explosion on the internet about that incident, um, but that's the one that did get published. Dropping a database is, is really bad when you're not supposed to do it. And um, stuff like that happens a lot. Now, maybe not as catastrophic, but it doesn't have to be that catastrophic in order for you to be in a, a negative situation or a bad situation. And so again, focusing on the process, we show you how to navigate these workplace challenges. Your first week on the job, okay, you're a newbie. How someone asks you to do something, someone, go, someone goes and asks you to version control the schema in the database, you're thinking, oh, I've heard of that. What does that mean? And you, you don't wanna look like the person who doesn't know what they're talking about. So what do you do? So we take these, these awkward situations, these anxiety ridden situations, and these situations where maybe you just don't have the tools to, maybe you just don't have the time. It's so in the moment, you don't have the time to think through it. Well, if you practice it, you don't have to think. And so that's where professional communication for junior developers comes in. And that is a course, especially where you gotta do the prompts, okay? You have to participate with these courses or you're just, you're, you're not gonna get anything out of the platform. So uh, with yearly members too, and I'll get to the our membership options in a minute because yearly, I'm spoiling the yearly members. They're really gonna get a, get a nice treat, but the monthly memberships are, we'll talk about that in a sec. Monthly memberships are pretty legit too. Um, so for that one, we ask you to come on to the discord and that brings in the, another big component of what makes this platform special for the last three years, I've been trying really hard. And I think I've been doing a pretty good job of creating a really awesome community. It makes me feel so good. I feel so proud. I feel so motivated when I go into my discord and I have someone say, you know, this is actually the coolest Discord community, or I really like the robustness of this community. It's nice seeing people's different opinions. And that to me is an indicator that I did something right. I absolutely love my community. You guys have been so good to me. Um, even if you're just joining and, and you're new to the channel um, and you're enthusiastic, it doesn't matter if you've been here since 2017, 2018, 2019, whenever, uh, I have the best community on the fricking internet. Don't at me. You guys are fricking awesome. And so putting, bringing that into the fold and bringing the community in to work with this platform, we're, we're fusing it. Um, because now on our discord, we have dedicated channels for each course. We have a head of student success where people, if they get stuck or have questions, we have support. Uh, for people to, to help them on their coding journey, legitimate. And also our community is, is really, this word is overused so much, but it is totally true in this context. Our community is really diverse. And so when that happens, we get some really good ideas because we have different perspectives coming in. And so people are the neurons are firing and it's not an echo chamber. People say stuff on the Discord all the time where I'm like, hmm, you know, I don't agree with that, but that's an interesting perspective. And we keep the tone open 
and it's the antithesis of modern day social media. I'll leave it at that. Uh, so contributions uh, and, and engagement is a big part of that and support is a big part of realtoughcanny.io and the support component, the support piece comes in uh, on the Discord and the collaboration comes in on the Discord. We're gonna have, um, going back to the yearly membership thing, uh, if you're a yearly member, you're gonna get spoiled because we're gonna have special live events where we are practicing some of the stuff that you learn uh, in these courses. Um, but again, I'll get to that in a second. So the disc, the Discord community, and for those of you who don't know what Discord is, it's essentially just like a modern day chat room um, with a lot of bells and whistles. That's all it is. We have a code of conduct, uh, which helps keep people on the same page. Um, so you can, you can know what's expected of you. I mean, it's nothing outlandish, guys. Seriously, like it takes 20, 30 seconds to read and it's, it's nothing silly, but I think it does help to maintain the integrity of our community. I know it does. And that's something you don't see in most communities. It's just like, uh, yeah, don't be mean. Um, that can work for really small communities um, and really uh, and infor more informal ones. But for our purposes, uh, something like a formal code of code of cone of conduct, rah, something like a formal code of conduct really helps uh, keep the community healthy. Finally, our last course. How's everybody doing in the chat, by the way? Happy Monday. Ugh, I usually don't do live streams on Mondays. And I think I wanted to, I think like psychologically on a psychological level, I wanted to launch today just because I could say, yeah, you know, for a Monday, it wasn't so bad. Something to look forward to, to start the week off. And it's hot as I don't know what in the Midwest right now. It's, it's insane everywhere I look, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a place where it's not triple digits and I'm, I'm kind of striking out. It's crazy. Um, our last course, Freelance Newbie. This is a course, as the name suggests, is for people who are interested in starting a freelance career. It is based on 100% actionable, practical curriculum. So you can get your first client literally by the end of the week. I am not blowing smoke up wherever. Literally, this, this course does that, like proven, proven. Um, and if you're looking for maybe just a side hustle, you can, uh, you can start with this course and, or you can, you can start as a, let, let me rephrase that. If you're just wanting to do a side hustle, this course can help. Uh, but if you're wanting to expand that, this course can really help because I show you again, it's a process. I don't, we do not teach specific implementations because that's where people have a hard time pivoting and applying their knowledge to different contexts. And when you learn the process, you can take that process and apply it to many different contexts. That's what makes this platform special. You can take what you learn from Freelance Newbie using that process and build something really great. You can build something sustainable that's going to take care of yourself, your family, and whoever else you want to support. And this is based on, again, real world actionable stuff. All right. So that's about the courses. We have five of them. We will also be in the next few weeks releasing a course menu. Uh, we're going to be releasing courses every four months. So to give you a little, little preview of that, one of the courses that's going to be coming out is going to be problem solving using JavaScript. So that's, that's the caliber. That's the standard. That is, that is the standard that we are adhering to so that you can get the most out of your career. So you can level up, land a job, get a raise. That's all. I mean, I'm only interested in showing you practical stuff uh, and I'm not interested in teaching you JavaScript 101. I would be happy. I mean, I'm happy to, to help clarify things, but as far as like saying, hello everyone, I'm going to show you a function. It's just not necessary. We have some great instructors for that. Uh, different, whatever, whatever angle of the dangle you prefer, we have it out there for learning how to code. So I'm, I'm not even touching it. Um, I'm, I'm more concerned with the process and getting you leveled up so that you are attractive to employers um, and you, you can make this a career. 
because let me go on a tangent for a minute. I don't know if you've looked outside lately, but things are pretty, things are looking kind of depressing for 2020. But when you think about the possibilities with software, it's going to survive no matter what. Uh, unless we all get nuked into oblivion. In that case, my platform won't be up. I'll be sad. I won't have kombucha. And it just, I mean, just write it off. But this is one of the few, I had Faraday Academy, you know, Gwen Faraday, she does the free code camp videos, some of them. She also has her own channel, great interview. Uh, we were talking about this the other week about how this is one of the few career fields that survives this type of stuff because there is such a big demand. Um, I don't know if for anyone who needs to hear this, this may sound harsh, but some people need to be told this, go do it. Stop waiting for someone to tell you to do it because I just did. I just told you now you can, now you can stop waiting, go pursue this career field developers. I'm going to do a video on this. This career field is very special to me because as I've shared in previous videos, this isn't something I love talking about, but I have been broke for much of my adult life. Some people know what I'm talking about here. A lot of people know what I'm talking about here. It wears on you. It destroys you. And if it wasn't for this career field, I don't know where I would be. That's how much it affects me. And that's how much that how that's how important it is to me. And I know there are people out there. I know there are people out there who in that who are in that same position. And thinking about where I might be if I hadn't have made the choice to pursue web development, pursue software development. <laughs> I don't know where I'd be. I'd still be broke. I'd still be depressed. I'd be broken without skills. And as someone who has gone down that road, I know how dejecting it feels. This is a validating career field and you need to get into it. And that is why I have this platform because I want to help people and I want to help you get there. Okay, now that I have the Emmy speech 2020 out of the way, I'd like to thank the Academy. <sighs> have I mentioned we also have monthly and yearly discounts? <laughs> memberships. So about the platform memberships, we have monthly, ah, being broke sucks. We have monthly and yearly memberships. The monthly membership, now this isn't this isn't a hidden price. This is public information. Monthly memberships are $24.99 a month. The yearly is $199. And here's what you get uh, with both membership tiers. So the monthly, you get access, unlimited access in that month to all courses. Um we get you oh yeah duh why don't i why don't i add this also um the royalty free photo and video library that's a perk only available to monthly and yearly subscribers so if you're enrolled uh, as a monthly and yearly or yearly member you get access to this royalty free photo and video library hd fun photos okay we have photos of graffiti trains food flowers various nature scenes we have a, a carnival video clip collection of like you know weird things spinning around in the sky from the county fair um, you can use these media items for your projects you don't have to um you know they're non-attributable you don't have to say thanks rtc you can but you don't have to um the only thing you can't do there's a few things you can't do but they're pretty obvious. They're pretty obvious. Like you can't just take them and sell them, um, but you can use them in projects, including for project for profit projects. This includes freelancing projects. Um, so maybe you're working on a mock up and you, you're sick of Pexels.com, um, or you just want a little bit something something a little funkier because we do have some some funky photos on there, um, some really cool graffiti photos. Um, a lot of photos that are setting the mood. We have fireworks. Uh, slow-mo fireworks, video uh, video stuff, all sorts of stuff. 
but that is a perk of the monthly and yearly. And we're, we're, we're going to be adding more to those weekly. Uh, right now, I mean, we have probably, I don't know, maybe like 50 photos, maybe less. There may be less, don't quote me. Um, but that is something that you can take and use in your projects, including the videos. You can do whatever you want to them. You don't have to use them as is. You can dice them, you can slice them, you can recolor them, you can you know, add whatever effect. Excuse me. Um, so that's that benefit. Also, the yearly price is a special introductory offer. That, that is a price that's going to go up. Um, honestly, I don't want anyone making any blind decisions. This might make me a poor businesswoman, but I really don't want you to buy something expensive if it's not going to benefit you. So be sure to read what all the benefits are and if that's going to be something that you can benefit from. So with the yearly, you get all courses, uh, including all the courses that are released during the membership. So we're releasing every, we're, we're releasing courses every four months. So you get those tied in with your membership. You also get access, uh, and this is only the yearly, you get access to mini courses and workshops. Uh, and going back to that course, professional communication for junior developers, we're going to be doing some mock scenarios and stuff where you can participate. Uh, we'd love to have you. And these are going to be guided, uh, guided sessions, small groups. Um, it's going to be uh, sign up. You have to sign up so we know who to expect. Uh, but those are really going to help you level up. Uh, so that's, those are only for yearlies. Um, Royalty-free photos and videos like we just talked about. Also a weekly newsletter, which most people are like, yeah, yeah, that's filler. We have some, um, not just course information about that in the newsletter, but also uh, stories from developers. They can be really motivational and they can help keep you, keep it in perspective. I've interviewed some really great people over the last few years. I was going to say decades. I'm like, wait, I haven't been here that long. Over the past few years, really motivational. Uh, so we're making the newsletter worth your time. Um, and then finally, uh, access to the Discord and access to the head of student success who can help you uh, strategize your coding journey and help you get, get you to where you need to be. So that is the yearly. And again, that's $199. Just going to put it out there. $199, but the price is going to be going, that price is going to be going up, no doubt, especially after we get a, another course or two on there. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Um, so that, and plus the price right now is 33% less, 33% savings compared to the monthly plan, if you buy 12 months of the monthly plan. And so with the monthly, you get all of those things we just talked about, except the exclusive mini courses and workshops. So one of the mini courses I'm working on, for example, now your membership is, you get a lot of good stuff. The, the access to all courses, um, I mean, that's just, if you're, if you're doing the work, that membership fee is, I think, well worth the investment. And I wanted to price it so, um, you know, people could, could afford it. So that is that. I think I've, I've talked enough about what the platform is all about. If you have any questions, uh, let me know right now because I'm going to go to the live chat. Okay. Let's see. Maricoma Blessed, how's it going? Maricoma says, I think, I think I've been good. Yeah, I know that feeling. Uh, the pandemic is making things tough, but I'm glad to be alive. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. I'm doing pretty good. Candace says it's humid in New Jersey. It's And Donovan says it's hot here in Michigan, too. Seriously, it's like a freaking uh, U.S. heat wave. I really don't like being cooped up indoors, but with this type of heat, it's just me just being unflattering in front of like a window AC unit, just like... <laughs> Looking like a St. Bernard going like this and hoping no one sees me. It's, I, I just cannot operate in this type of heat. Solid Snake, how's it going? Wesley. Wesley Tejeda, great question. So this is for someone that knows HTML, CSS, JavaScript, basically. That's a really good question. Um, ideally, you, if you, if you want to take all the courses on here, and again, they, they all pretty much fit in, except Freelance Newbie is kind of a standalone. Um, for courses like portfolio surgery, knowing a bit of HTML and CSS will be very beneficial. You don't have to, because again, I'm showing you the process. So for example, let me, let me share with you uh, an example from portfolio surgery. So I build 
a photo gallery. It's basically a tribute page to trains and graffiti um, because I like taking pictures of that kind of stuff. I just, I love graffiti. I just love the big fat letters, <laughs> especially on trains. I, I love the, uh, just as they go by and you can see all the different artworks. Um, so I fused that interest with this project and what I built uh, was I basically, this is how, this is how the process is. So I took a project, it's, it's a very basic photo gallery. It's a black and white photo gallery, which most people have built in one way or another, if they've take, if they've taken a HTML and CSS course, uh, photo galleries are one of the most, the most beautiful, most simple things to build. Um, but the problem is people aren't transforming them. So they put them in a portfolio and an employer has seen it literally a hundred times. So what we do is we use five different approaches um, and you can choose which approach you want to take for your project. You can do all five if you want. You can mix and match them. So we take this eight, this very, I mean, the, the, pro the project starts out with like, I don't know, 10 lines of CSS. And then by the end of the course, we, we incorporate a lot more CSS of, uh, for the final one where we add a feature. One of the methods is adding a feature and that feature is actually a light box. So you click on the photo and you can, you can scroll through the photos. So we build that using vanilla JavaScript. Most light boxes are, are built using jQuery, um, but I wanted to show you something a little more on natural. Um, you don't, so that is, you learn, have, knowing a little bit of JavaScript is helpful because also one of the challenges by the, by the time you reach the tail end of the course, the fifth challenge is to take that project because this project is unoptimized. And this is what I mean by getting you out of getting you out of that comfort zone. So there are project files, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but they're unoptimized. For what I mean by that is, I have I, I mix let and var, um, and some of the code is is just it could be better. So your challenge to refactor it and and make it just a little tighter, make it a little nicer. Um, so. That is, so if you do know HTML, CSS, and a bit of JavaScript, you're really going to get 100% maximum value out of this platform. But there are, I mean, there are other courses where we don't even touch, uh, I don't even show you HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, uh, let alone use it. Um, for example, Freelance Snoobie. We talk about that stuff, but you don't know, I'm, it's, it's not like a coding tutorial. You know what I'm saying? Like, it isn't like, okay, so in this freelance lecture, or this freelance lab, I'm gonna show you how to code out a landing page uh, for your freelance portfolio. Same with professional communication for junior developers. We talk about code, we talk about coding scenarios, but it's not like you're doing a code along as you're participating in that course. Um, and even stuff like, like I said, portfolio surgery, HTML and CSS will be helpful, but it's more about the process of, of meeting you where you are uh, even just a little HTML and CSS can get you a long way uh, with portfolio surgery. And, and same with UX, UI for web devs. Uh, you don't need to know any coding to get started with the main parts because we do we do like audience research and um, we do polls. I actually poll some of my the people in my network, um, building a wireframe, building a mock-up. You no coding skills needed for that. So um, but again, to answer your question, HTML and CSS and knowing HTML, CSS and JavaScript will, will, will ensure you get 100% return uh, on your time spent on the platform, but it's, it's, it's not necessary. Good question. Lloyd says something that really helps us overcome the tutorial hell. You know, I personally don't think tutorial hell is hell. I find it heavenly <laughs> because it's the one time in your career where you can just keep watching videos and it feels like you're making progress a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit. I mean, really you're not because you just keep watching more videos. Um, but it's just, it, it's the easiest way to feel like you're making progress is by staying in tutorial hell. So to me, it's heavenly. Um, but having to push through it you you have to get through that. You have to get over that hump of tutorial hell in order to become employable, um, because that's it's a very vicious cycle. And yeah, I, I guess this that's I like that. This is a platform for getting you out of tutorial hell. I might start using that, Lloyd. Thank you. <laughs> that's one way of looking at it. But yes, 
Um, these again, I, I want to, I just cannot emphasize this enough. The, the courses are video based. Uh, these are not 30 hour Node.js courses. You will be working for, for every, this is what we say on the courses. So for every 10 minutes of video, you will be working outside the video, outside the classroom for anywhere between one and six hours. It depends on the course. Some courses for every 10 minutes of video, you're doing one to two hours. Um, other courses like portfolio surgery, you're doing three to six, sometimes more. That's for every 10 minutes of video. I'm not here to relax and make people feel like they're making progress. This is like I said, like the, the title of this video suggests realtoughcanny.io is a totally new way of learning. Not a totally new way of learning, but it's a new learning style. It's something that uh, this field hasn't yet seen. So it's exciting. Let's see. Thanks everyone for showing up. By Powered, what's going on? Wesley, Faraday, Faraday Academy, sweet. Gwen's here, how's it going? Faraday says, great to see you launch today. Excited to see it. Thanks Gwen, I, I appreciate that. I hope, I hope you enjoy what you see. Let's see, Hytham says, where can I find web design files, Figma, XD, Photoshop, et cetera, with its files and assets to practice front-end development skills? That is a great question. Uh, that is something I debated putting into designs and deadlines, like the XD files, because we have a, we do uh, a mock-up. We work on a mock-up in XD, and we also do a wireframe in XD. Um, and that's some great feedback. I will put those two XD files on the platform this week. I'll get maybe get to it tonight if I have time. If not, definitely this week for sure, because um, it is something I have been debating. Um, I didn't, but I I <laughs> I kind of I I know people want this kind of stuff, but I'm also like oh, I don't want to make it too easy for them. I don't. Yeah, you know, I want I want some some intellectual roadblocks so people can think their way through. But I also know that these files can be very helpful for practice. Um, so you know, I'm gonna write that down. Hold on a sec. As far as getting like just like loads and loads of XD, Figma, and Sketch files, I don't know. That could be a good app idea, developers. How cool would that be? That would be a really good app idea. Let's see. Random Savage, what's up? Just going through the comments here. Anywho, developers. I don't want to sound redundant and I know your time is precious. Um, and I've been here long enough talking about this platform. We are going right after this live stream, I'm gonna publish a little teaser, uh, just a little something to uh, embody and set the tone for the platform. So it's a minute and a half long. <laughs> if it just, just to give you the heads up, that's gonna be published in like five minutes. Um, again, seriously, shout out to the people who made this a reality, who helped me make this a reality. And those are the people who've been supporting me since I had 300 subscribers. Thank you so much. Like this was, I didn't know this was gonna happen. This was kind of just a thing that kind of just came into my life and ended up existing. It's amazing. That creation process is so wonderful. And um, if there is anything I can do to make your coding journey better or more efficient or easier, please let me know. Uh, we have a support email on the platform so you can you can get help that way. Also the Discord. Um, but this is this is the start of it. We launched at midnight. I'm very tired. I had a wonderful morning and wonderful day. Um, and thanks for all the DMs and messages and stuff developers like having you here saying, Candy, RTC, do this, let's do it. Thank you so much. Um, as you witnessed earlier, this career field is very important to me because I see what it does for people's lives and I know what it's done for mine. And getting into a place where you feel like you belong and you feel like you're getting somewhere changes your life. It changes your life. A lot of people are wondering what to do right now with their lives and they're, they're getting there. They're, they're, they're asking, they're asking questions and that's good. 
They're asking questions. How do I, how do I get into a career where I don't have to go to college for four years and be a hundred thousand dollars in debt? How do I get into a career field that's going to pay me good money for applying something technical? How do I get into a field where there's an actual demand for my job, where I won't be replaced by a robot? People are asking good questions and I'm, I'm glad to see so many more people are coming into it, but I know there are a lot more people who, who need to just make that switch and even more who need to level up, get out of tutorial hell, get out of Netflix and chill for, for web development platforms and, and just get to that next stage and get out of their comfort zone. Getting, staying in your comfort zone is, is a real career killer. It, it can be a morale killer too. Um, and no one likes doing it. And I completely understand that. Um, but getting out of that zone is really where you're going to feel, you're going to start feeling it. You're going to start feeling that uncomfortableness. It's usually a good sign when it's in the context of education, when it's in the context of leveling up. So I look forward to seeing you on the platform. I look forward to seeing you on the discord. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for having me. All right, I'll see you on realtoughcandy.io, level up, land a job, get a raise. As always, we'll see you later. And I don't know, as, as always what? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.